Hey guys, welcome to my home worm farming channel. If you guys are looking for a kind, helpful worm composting community, you are in the right place. Okay, well, we don't have gnats, but it looks like I've got a couple moths. I'll definitely take a few moths as opposed to a few thousand gnats. Here's my... Um, Nat trap that looks like it was very, very successful. Put that off to the side. Okay, well you can see that it has sunken down there quite a bit, so that's good. That means that the African night crawlers have totally been digging all of their paper and food. So let's take a look in on here and evaluate what's going on. The top paper is dry and that is to be expected. Um, usually put a very dry layer on top so that um, they can't smell the food. So it looks like we're getting into the food right now. And I'm seeing some avocado shells. No avocado. And not sure. Looks like we fed a lot of avocados and then some other random kitchen scraps. This is a year old cabbage stem. That's pretty cool. Put that off to the side. See what else we're getting into here. And that looks like it's about it. I'm not seeing any of the other food. Is this, is this tape? I don't know. I'm gonna take it out. Okay, so we have our long-term foods here. But as far as the short-term food, I'm really not seeing it. But what I am seeing that they ate most of that paper that I put in here. So that is good. We have a big feeding for them today. I was hoping to be able to celebrate uh, getting rid of the gnats, and I think we absolutely can. So the paper's dry, but the castings are they're a little dry. They're not perfect, but they are definitely, they're not bone dry, but they definitely could use a little extra. So right now what I'm gonna do is kind of incorporate that old paper that's been wet previously into the food or into the other castings sticker. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down today's food. All right, so we have some rice, and I'm not sure what that is. And then we also have some clippings from my inside tomato plant. It is starting to outgrow its little container. So that had to get clipped back. The rest of everything else, like the onions and the rice and everything, has all been frozen previously, hopefully so that I don't get any more uh, flying friends in here. So they look like they are doing great. Probably need to kick up the water a little bit more coming in here to water it because that the air conditioning's on now. So I have again um, taken my prepared bedding and soaked it in the BTI water. I think I'm going to keep going at that just to make sure that I don't end up with the gnats back again. If there's some uh, little eggs or whatever dormant. I want to make sure that they absolutely do not get another foothold on this bin. And you can see these little crunchies are the mosquito bits. Um, I just buy them on Amazon, soak them in water, you know, follow the directions, that whole thing. Soak them in water for as long as it takes to activate them, and then I use it for my bedding. Now this is just straight up shredded cardboard so it is not going to um, degrade quite as fast as normal bedding would but that's okay right now I'm just trying to make sure that the the worms stay nice and moist and also that I don't get back those gnats if you wanted to look and see what I did the previous time I will link the video from the harvest last time so you can tell that this is starting to fill up again, but when we come back the next time, it's gonna be reduced by another two to three inches. Okay, if you wanted to know more about this vertical worm bag, I have a whole playlist 
that I can link right over there. And if you've already seen that, YouTube thinks you're going to want to watch this video right over here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.